Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make this clear slime. It was really requested in my past slime videos. So this I made so long ago and it's still good and I still use pieces of it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this stuff. It's my favorite consistency for clear slime. So the things you will need are clear glue, I just use this Elmer's, and baking soda, just have a little bit in there, some contact solution, saline solution, you're also going to need something to mix it all up with, and a container or bowl to mix it all in. So first I'm just going to take the clear glue and dump it into the container that I have. And uh, there's a hair in there, let me just get that out, ew. <laughs> And then I'm going to continue to dump in the glue for however much slime I want. So this is what I have. I'm going to definitely need a little bit more. More slime. There we go. Then I'm going to add water to that, but just a little bit. Now I've added a little bit of water in there. And I'm going to go ahead and mix this concoction up. Just so it's nice and combined. Then I'm going to take the baking soda and add just a little pinch in there. I never know really how much to add, but I know that it's important in making this consistency of slime. So I'm going to go ahead and mix that into the glue and water mixture. Oops, spilled a little. Getting a little crazy. And then next is the saline solution. This is the last step and a little bit goes a long way so I like to just pour in a tiny bit at first and mix it up a lot and because the longer you mix it the more it reacts the more the glue water and baking soda react to the saline solution so less is more in this case. So oh, I'm definitely going to need a little bit more saline solution and I'm going to mix it up being very careful because I like a stretchier slime and the more saline solution you add the more non-stretchy <laughs> the slime is but you can already see that it's like turning into a slimy consistency if I can get my hand out of the way. Jeez Tia, can you tell this is my first time? <laughs> I remember my first voiceover. So after about one minute of mixing, this is what I'm getting. Now it's got a lot of air bubbles in it, so it's definitely going to need to sit. But you can see this is the perfect consistency. Oh, I love it. So I decided that I want to put it in a smaller container than this circle one because the smaller it is, the, I think the faster the air bubbles will come out of it, but it definitely is going to need to sit for at least a week to get all of those air bubbles out. It has a lot of air bubbles, but I'll come back and show you guys how transparent it becomes after a while. And like I said, this slime will last forever as long as you keep it in that airtight box so thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see a slime collection video of all the slimes that i already have let me know in the comments below 
So here is the slime after a little over a week of sitting. All the air bubbles have gone out of it. It is still super squishy and slimy. I love it. I'm like trying to record with my phone and take the slime out at the same time. It's kind of difficult to even play with it, but you can see that it is really transparent. So it's great for those fruit salad slimes or any glitter slimes. You'll be able to see all the pieces in there perfectly. I love this, but it's too difficult to play with slime with one hand and record with the other. So if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye, guys.